Today's art demo is going to be more resin coasters with blue sparkle. Welcome back to the studio, everyone. If you're new here, I am Tammy with Tam's Creative Corner. And if you haven't seen last week's video, I made these really cool fall colored resin coasters. I'll link that one above if you haven't seen it yet, but they turned out beautiful. So I'm a little obsessed with the resin coasters right now. So this week I'm making another agate slice resin coaster set, but this time in blues with lots of sparkle. And I'm going to a little more detail for you this week. And if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button because that helps me out a lot. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, ring that little notification bell. That way you'll be sure to get notified when I launch a new video. So let's get started and make some of these resin coasters. Just like last week, I'm going to be using this La Cranch mold and my counterculture DIY resin. So I'll link all of the supplies down in the description below this video. If you're interested in getting links to any of them, I will put them there. This resin is a one-to-one -one ratio, so these TCP measuring cups work great. And I'm just pouring one part hardener, one part resin, and mixing it thoroughly. Now I'm gonna divide my resin into portion cups where I will add my pigments. Today I'm using May Spring Pigments. I'm using some out of their Gemstone collection and some out of their Two-Tone collection. These pigments are amazing. They blend well with resin and they look beautiful in your projects. And like I did before, I'm just going to start on the outside edge and work my way in with the different colors. And this is where you can just get creative and have fun. And now I'm pouring some of my leftover clear resin in another cup to which I'm going to add Counterculture DIY's Cornflower Confetti. What a beautiful glitter this is. And I'm going to pour it into the center of my coasters and then a little bit along the edges. making a bit of a mess pouring this white around the edge so I'm just going to take an alcohol wipe after I'm done and wipe off the resin that's on the top of my mold because I don't want that to pull off and be attached to the coasters when I pull them out and now taking my heat gun I'm just softening the edges and warming up the resin to pop some of those bubbles Next week, I'm going to do a matching cheese board to go with this coaster set. So stay tuned for that. It turned out really beautiful. And then I'm going to just take a popsicle stick here and run some lines through it, kind of blend my colors. I probably could have left it alone, but I wanted it to be more blue than anything. Now I'm adding that little bit of glitter to the edge. I was kind of hoping it would stay there, but it did 
float around as it cured, but that's okay, it still looked pretty. And then I'm gonna let this cure and add a clear coat of that same resin to the top. So this has been curing for a couple of days and then I decided to mix up another batch of resin and add that clear coat. Just use this tongue depressor to push the resin to the sides and my culinary torch is just to heat it up a little bit and pop the bubbles. And now I'm ready to remove it from the mold and this is my second time using the mold and again they pop out perfectly. You can see there's a little bit of a edge on it, so I'm going to do a, just a little bit of sanding just to buffer that down a little bit. And just like when you're working with the resin, when you're sanding it, make sure you wear your respirator and goggles or whatever protection you have because you don't want those little dust particles getting into your lungs. So what I did was sand that down and then I take an alcohol wipe to clean it up and wipe it all off. And now I'm ready to go with the silver leafing pen which is amazing and it just really helps the whole thing pop and it looks like a complete finished product. I really love the way those pens complete the, these coaster sets. And then I go ahead and add some felt pads to the back and they're ready to go. So next week I'm going to work on this little cheese board you see underneath of it and make a matching set so it's a perfect holiday functional giftable set. I'd love to get a comment below and know what you think of this coaster set and hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Have a great week everyone and happy creating!